And now let us see the histology of PDA. This can be studied under three headings. One is the cells. Next is ground substance. Another one is the fibers. So cells, fibers, and ground substance. These three together constitute the histology of PDA. So under the cells, we have synthetic cells, the resorptive cells, defensive cells, progenitor cells, and the cell rest of melasses. So under the synthetic cells, again we have three types. That means those which helps in synthesis. That is the fibroblast, the cementoblast, and the osteoblast. Under the resorptive cells, again we have same things opposite of the synthetic cells. That is fibroblast itself. Here it does a dual role of synthesis and resorption. Then the cementoblast and the osteoblast. We have to remember the suffix attached here. So if a word is attached with the word uh, clast. that means they are involved in resorption if it is attached to the word blast means which is involved in synthesis so similarly we have fibroblast cementoblast osteoblast and in the defensive category cells we have the cells of the vascular compartment that is the mast cells macrophages and eosinophils then we have the progenitor cells also called as the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells then we have the cell rest of melasses so these are all come these all comes under the cells category again under fibers we have different types of fibers first one is collagen fiber elastin oxytelan reticular in different fiber plexus and the secondary fiber groups next is the the matrix in which all these cells and fibers are located so that is called as the ground substance so under this we have two category that is the proteoglycans and the glycoproteins next we have the other connective tissue elements like the blood vessels nerves and the cementicles so all these constitute together called as the histology of pdl in the next video we will be reading detail about each one of them